Good morning, everyone, and good tevach. Shavua Tov. We are continuing here in the Kitzvah Shulchan Aruch in the laws of Rosh Hashanah. And today we begin the famous mitzvah of Rosh Hashanah, which is Tekiah Shoifer, the blowing of the Shoifer. And he starts with a small hakdam, an introduction that says the following. There are three types of shofar blast that we're going to discuss, and which is the mitzvah for us to hear. There's tekiah, which is the long, unbroken sound. There's shvarim, which is three short sounds. And then there's teruah, which is those series of staccato bursts, as we're going to see. Nine of them. Now, this is going to be the blast of the shoifah that we make on Rosh Hashanah. And as we're going to see, they come in different sets throughout the davening. Each set begins with a tekiah and has either a shvarim or a trua or a combination of shvarim terua in between them. And then it ends with a te- it ends with a tekiah as well. So it begins with a tekiah, it ends with a tekiah, and in the middle are the other sounds of shvarim or terua. Or it's going to be a tekiah, shvarim, teruah, tekiah. Now, says the, in, this, in his introduction, nine of these sets, which will end up equaling 30 blasts of the shoifer, are sounded before Musaf. And there's additional blasts that are sounded throughout the Musaf service. And that's going to end up leading till the end to 100 blasts of the shoifer. And each individual shofar blast is called out first by the makri, which is the one who announces the shofar, and then the baltokeya, the one who blows it, he ends up blowing the shofar. So if you'll re- re- remind yourself of what it looks like in shul on Rosh Hashanah, you have the, the makri, the one who's announcing, standing by the bima, and you have the baltokeya, the one that is blowing the shofar, standing right next to him. And the Baltakeya, the, the Makri says, Tekiyam. And the one blowing the says, Boop. And then he goes on and on, so, so on and so forth, just like that. So these laws, we'll try to go through them in a systematic way so that we can have a, a better understanding of exactly how the Tekiyah Shoifer, the blowing of the Shoifer, is working. Shiran Tekiyos, the proper length of the blast of the Shoifer. Should be in the following way. Again, lecharchila means in the best way possible. This is how it should take place. We said that the trua, as we mentioned in the beginning, is a. So the trua should be nine of those very short sounds. So you're doing nine times. Ushvarim yase gimel shvarim. When it comes to the shvarim, which is the is the the slower one, it's it should be three of those sounds. Zeach has a one after the other. Kol shever yeh aruch at every one. And now we're, now the shvarim is a language of shever. Shever is a language of broken. So these are broken blasts. Remember, because we start off tekiya. Shever is a broken tekiah. And therefore, those three blasts, which are going to be the broken blast of the, of the shever, koshevi aruch, kemoy gimel, koychais ketzaras minat They should be like three short sounds of a teruah. Now the teruah, as we said over here, is... So that means every shever should be the uh, length of a of three of the so again these are for the experts to understand exactly the length and how long it's going to be but that's what we're saying every shever is going to be like the same length of three short sounds of the teruah vinimsa shigama shvarim so it comes out then that the shvarim which is three shvarim he kamotes kaychis it's as long as the nine staccato sounds of the trua, right? If the terua is nine staccato sounds and the shvarim is supposed to be each one the length of three of those nine, 
and there's three shavarim, so three times three is nine. That means that the shavarim and the and the terua is going to be the same length of time. The yizayim ma'ayin, and be very careful. The one that's blowing the shofar should be very careful. Shelo laharich b'shvarim, he should not extend the shvarim. Ad she kol shever kemoytes koyches. The shever shouldn't be as long as nine staccato sounds. You shouldn't make it that long. Even after the fact, which means even in the in the 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 weakest possible way, you have not satisfied the obligation of the kiyos shofar. That the kiyos hema havaros pshutos and the kiyos should be straight last. There's no fancy sounds and this and that. It should just be straight like that. Okay, we're going to hold it off over here today. Try to digest those ideas. You have tekia, shvarim, terua. Tekia once again is that's a straight blast. Shvarim is it's three broken uh, blasts from the straight blast, and the the terua is. Nine of those staccato sounds. We'll continue Be'ez Hashem tomorrow. All the best.